Shalom, my name is Yeshua Yaakov Ben Avraham. I'm making this uh, video from Jerusalem. Uh, Christopher Hitchens, uh, the rise of atheism, and uh, his uh, standard spiel and bombast about uh, religion as the root of all problems and evil in the world, which is utter rubbish, uh, which shows the particular lack of uh, scholarship on his part. Um, the root of all evil in the world is uh, the exile of man and mankind from his authentic self and from God. And so the solution will be the uh, ascent of man. Uh, and uh, now that we have the collapse of the local reality globally, uh, we are going to enjoy uh, most certainly uh, that ascent by uh, the grace of the God of the cosmos. Okay, now about your challenge, Christopher, that you keep boasting and you keep going on and you haven't corrected on the internet and on television, you keep saying, can you name for me a moral action or a statement uh, that was made? Uh, okay, I'm going to accept your challenge for the 50th time to correct you because your claims are specious and they're patently false. Uh, the answer to your challenge, I'm a religious person, and I'll make a statement that uh, I challenge you that you cannot say. And, uh, and it is this. Uh, my answer to your challenge is, quote, the truth is the information that never changes, parenthetically, in finality, close parens, changing, parenthetically, in intentionality, close parens, in close. That's the answer. And uh, for reasons that have to do with the uh, post-collapse of the local reality globally that has ended man and mankind's exile and separation. And you're being an atheist, uh, secular humanist, uh, uh, material uh, humanist, uh, uh, let's see, nihilist. Uh, you have a long list of claims. Uh, uh, I don't know which one, which one you packaged in today. Thomas Jefferson, build that wall. You have uh, more specious uh, uh, dialogues that uh, you keep claiming are rooted in some uh, superior truth, which is utter rubbish. Okay, but that said, your challenge has been met. So sh show yourself to have the morals and ethics to acknowledge that the, ch the challenge has been made. And if you can, uh, as a non-religious person, uh, make the statement, quote, the truth is the information that never changes, parenthetically, in finality, close parens, changing, parenthetically, and intentionally, close parens, end quote. If you can make that statement, Christopher, and in particular about Christopher Hutchins, uh, then you have met, uh, uh, I have, uh, I've answered you, and uh, you have, uh, you have uh, one up for reasons that I'm not going to explain to you, you've already uh, informed the world and the public uh, by your declared uh, choices, values, philosophy, etc., that you cannot make that. And to do and to make that is to confirm a fundamental contradiction of all that you said that you claim you are. And, of course, uh, you don't know who you are. And the one who is speaking is a pathological liar that has uh, uh, a very long and formidable track record of uh, delusion and self-deception. So uh, God is not great. Let me answer that, too. The God of the cosmos is indeed great. In fact, he's very great. And he's also the God of Israel. Uh, it's a pity you didn't have more uh, respect for your mother's tradition. And uh, having said that, I would say to you, I urge you very strongly to uh, rethink and to reconsider uh, uh, much of the specious noise that you're peddling. Uh, and I'll be very specific. There is a very fundamental need in you to, uh, to stand in the minions and to say Kaddish for your Blessed Mother's memory and to undertake deconstruction and deprogramming uh, that's at the root of your uh, uh, kill daddy and kill mama program 
which is the uh, which is the U of exile, and uh, there is so many contradictions in your arguments and your claims. But uh, most people buy your books and listen to your interviews, and they don't have the discernment and the uh, the uh, training, education, depth, or the knowledge or command of science to see the extremes of your epistemological relativism and your spins. And uh, you make so many, many uh, claims that are absolutely rubbish. They're specious, they're unfounded, and they sound terrific, but <laughs> there's nobody to answer them. Okay, uh, that said, uh, the moral necessity, uh, uh, you know, your, uh, your, your, your polemics uh, bespeak a shoulder to the to the to the wheel of the, uh, of the nihilistic framework. Uh, look, the collapse of Western civilization, the end of the world. Um, in case you don't know it, what Nietzsche predicted has come, has already come, and you've missed it. So you can sit down and relax. We don't need uh, your half-baked articulations and your moral necessity for atheism, uh, which is uh, specious in the best of cases and uh, utter rubbish in the, in the worst case scenario. I'm speaking about the something that you, uh, uh, you demonstrate a very extreme ignorance of, which is the collapse of the local reality has, uh, has, has uh, is upon us. Uh, for 18 years I first observed it. Eight, I'm, I'm a didactic scientist. And I observed it first 18 years ago, and, uh, and subsequently it's been confirmed empirically, logically. And this brings us in two frameworks, whether religious or secular, um, uh, for the religious, whether regardless of which of the three uh, monotheistic religions or self-professed kings or uh, ayatollahs, the bottom line is simple. Uh, it's the end of the separation um, from a man's authentic self and God and the ascent to the quantum reality which is receiving to give. And in secular terms, it means the end of the pre-modern modern era and the ascent to the quantum reality in the post-modern era that is based upon the new cognitive uh, behavioral science first principle receiving to give. I'm the author of Humanomics Trilogy, which is the new East-West Convergence Model, because both East and West, the collapse of local reality affects uh, the collapse of both uh, systems, East and West. And Humanomics is the new post-collapse East-West Convergence Model, and it's comprised of two paradigms. Its central organizing principle is receiving to give, and the new economic paradigm of integration of labor and the author of both. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you, but your challenge has been met, and I fully expect you and your uh, ABC and your uh, MSNBC and all of your presentations on television to be retracted. The challenge has been met, and I expect you to show the ethics and morality to say your challenge has been met, and if you don't believe that the challenge has been met, then by all means, uh, 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 you're entitled to to express your opinion and say that you you find that what I'm saying is wrong and that you can make that statement that I have made uh, and uh, as, uh, as a man of no faith and then by all means make it and then when you do uh, it's time for the uh, for the dime to drop on you as they say uh, but uh, you know knock yourself out uh, my advice is come down from the roof children before you hurt yourself you and Doc Dawkins, uh, uh, you know, by the way, he's a good uh, biologist, a good scientist, but uh, a lousy philosopher just like you. Anyway, I'm uh, Yoshua Yaakov ben Abraham, formerly Michael O'Donnell, and I'm a didactic scientist. I live in Jerusalem for the past 20 years. I'm an American citizen, and uh, uh, I've uh, herein answered Christopher's uh, specious challenge, and, uh, and I expect uh, a truthful uh, answer. And, uh, and a reply in the public domain. Uh, thank you for listening.